Bear Squad, what is up? It's Polar Bear here. How's everyone doing? We are servicing the airport location today. We're not going to be filling anything up. We're just going to be kind of evening things out. This is a strategy I'm going to start using to eliminate um, chips in particular, eliminate their due dates or whatever. Expiration dates, that's the word I'm looking for. Filming this, it's, uh, it's a pretty warm day, I'm not going to lie pretty darn warm <laughs> so I had actually filmed a couple of videos today unfortunately one of the videos was destroyed due to humidity but uh, we're doing we're doing pretty solid here we're just gonna go through and check everything out looks like I could probably put the GoPro at a little bit higher of an angle but I think you can see everything that's going on with this angle as well so that's something I'm happy about we're gonna look up you see uh, that was just kind of dangling there it's not really what we want but we can live with it we'll, uh, we'll make things work so you can see we've got a couple empty coils here I'm just kind of looking things through seeing how much stuff we've sold I've got to pull my phone out real quick so we've got Vensoft to enter but first we're gonna reorganize these things and this is this is why I changed everything to three ounce bags instead of individualizing it. Now I can move it wherever the heck I want to move it. So the machine still looks full. And we can sell through more product. This also gives me an opportunity to get more footage on a regular basis with you guys. Obviously, as I get bigger as a vending company, I won't need to do stuff like this quite as often um, because I won't be, I'll have stuff to film every single day. I'm trying really hard to create footage on a daily basis without making it too, like, it costs me money to go through and do stuff like I spend extra money on fuel and I just, it's wicked inefficient the way I do things. So I try to be as efficient as I reasonably can at the same time. Well, you guys can almost see exactly what's going on in my phone. It's awesome. So we're going to go into the snack machine and we're going to enter the amounts that are in there. I'm pretty sure I leveled it off to three each. I'll check here just to be sure. We've got the Ruffles up top and we've got Funyuns, Cheetos, Ruffles, Cheetos. Count through. I'm pretty sure it's three in each roll. I just, uh, oh no, we've got Doritos in the back of there. Doesn't matter, they're all three ounce bags when you buy them, so that's how I put them into Vensoft just to make things a little bit more universal for me. Now, the Welches, I did the same thing with the Welches. I actually have a whole bunch of Welches we could have filled this up with. I should have brought them with me. I didn't really want to bring anything with me that might melt because it was legitimately like 110 degrees today. I came home in the house and it was 90 degrees in the house. Pretty intense. I'm not going to lie, the humidity makes everything really difficult too. Now I should take the coils out of there and clean them. They look like they could use a little bit of cleaning. I didn't actually see this. I didn't actually see that uh, when I serviced this machine. I don't know. What do you guys think of the camera angle here? I... I'm actually liking it. I think it's working pretty well. It's tilted down just a little bit. So you guys, it's on my hat still, but it's tilted down a little bit to try to give the point of view perspective. I think it worked out pretty good. So I was in and out of this place really quickly, actually. Uh, it's a nine minute service. And uh, I filmed it at regular speed. I didn't speed anything up. I'm pretty happy with the way everything went. You can see uh, we're selling a lot of product. I'm wicked excited. The uh, the product's selling through pretty good. I'm, I don't make money at this location. I'm in competition currently with my neighbors or whoever's there. I'm competing with them, and uh, it's working really, really well. And I'm hoping eventually that uh, their sales will just flat out diminish once I get a. Uh, so I get a credit card reader update for this machine. I'm hoping at that point I won't have to bite the bullet for too much longer because I literally service this machine essentially for free. I don't make any money with the sales here. I, yeah, I barely make any money. I do, I do pull a profit, but very small on this one. 
get everything marked down pretty darn low. You can see we've got like, I think it was 11 uh, smart food. Three, then two, then two. Just gotta tuck those in there so they work perfectly. Now I move stuff around on the next shelf quite a bit. I didn't dare bring any chocolate out with me today. It was just that. Yeah. What do you guys do? You guys bring ice boxes for your runs? I'm curious to see what. Uh, I know I have a couple of veteran vendors that watch me, um, and I'm open to advice. Everyone, what do you guys do with your heat-sensitive product? The van does not have AC. I should probably get that problem solved, huh? But. Uh, so Skittles is another one that I have that uh, I label it Skittles bag when it comes in a variety pack instead of uh, saying Skittles, Wildberry Skittles, and Sour Skittles. I just uh, mix it up so I can move it around and count it in. This is one of few locations that goes through almonds like crazy. I love that they go through the almonds because no other places actually really sell them very well. It's this place and the Subaru dealership that do really well with these. We're just gonna count everything in, enter it into Vensoft. We're not adding anything. We're just checking up on it, seeing how everything's doing. We're gonna move over to the Twix. Twix just flat out don't sell here. I'm thinking about pulling them. I don't know what the heck. See, it's gonna be so much easier when I have a credit card reader because then I can watch live like what sells the most. It's a lot easier to look at that data. The uh, Nyax credit card readers are absolutely amazing for that. I love them. So we've got the good old paydays and then the mounds. Going all the way back on the mounds. And uh, we have to, I discovered while filming this, I filmed this along with several other videos that you guys will see throughout the week all in one day. And I found that the green and purple monster and the USI machine at the VIP place need to be replaced. Fortunately, one of my subscribers, which I have yet to ask if it's okay to talk about him, uh, has reached out and I talked to him a little bit and uh, I'm going to get two AP machines from him and we're going to replace them with those. Just like, they'll be like this machine. I absolutely love the AP machines, they're great. The problem with one of them is the shelf is broken. The problem with the other one is, well, you guys watched me fight with the other one, the green and purple monster. It's just a piece of junk. Now it'd be, be good to blow something up with it, maybe. Maybe blow it up or shoot fireworks and off inside of it. I don't know. We're already blowing a soda machine up, or a uh, snack machine up. What else could we do destructively with a snack machine? I want to hear what you guys got to say. So you can see these uh, these bars here don't do super great either. It seems like the uh, M&Ms do really well. Actually, the, the peanut M&Ms do better here than they do at any other location, surprisingly enough. I've decided that I'm still gonna use cookies. The uh, famous Amos, they sell pretty good and they have really long expiration dates. So I'm still gonna do those, but I think I think I might just put like ramen, <laughs> I know it's funny, but I think I might just put ramen in the other two, or the three, this is a five wide, I forgot it's a five wide. So that's pretty much going to finish up this visit here. Um, we've got, we've got uh, Vensoft all updated uh, with everything in it. Uh, why don't we just take a peek real quick and see where the uh, cash box is at, I'm kind of curious. We're not going to collect today. We only collect on the first, but just take a peek. Yeah, it could be a lot better than that, but it is what it is. I'll close the door up and head back to the van. Hey guys, if you are looking to start a vending company, I strongly recommend using Vensoft. It's a program that you just saw me using. It's wicked awesome. They've got a phone app and it's online. There's a link in the description below. Please make sure you check it out. Also, if you are interested in starting a YouTube channel, I strongly recommend downloading the Chrome extension TubeBuddy. It's a huge help and lets you really see all sorts of different analytics in your, uh, in your setup there. There are several Amazon 
uh, links there. If you guys are going to be purchasing something from Amazon, if you click on one of those links and then go to whatever it was you were going to purchase, I actually get a percentage of the sale regardless of what it was and it cost you nothing more. That definitely helps the channel out. Um, and if you are looking for some coaching or something like that, just basic help or stuff like that, do me a huge favor, head over to my Patreon. Uh, I charge a dollar a month for uh, tailored videos and also I'll work with you one-on-one -on -one to try to help you. Keep in mind too, I'm still learning as I go. I'm not, I'm not a guru on this and I do consult people. I have several mentors and several people who are really big into this. I am friends with quite a few of them and I consult with them on a regular basis with stuff I don't know to try to help you. All right, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Remember to love life, live your dreams, and as always, be Farnsworthy. Bear Squad, peace out.